A day in the life with the Apple Watch Series 9. Let me take you through a normal day using my favorite features of the Apple Watch as I normally would and testing out all the new features with the Apple Watch Series 9. This and so much more in another episode of Inside the Ecosystem. Take me to the ruins. always when I when I try to vlog here at home it always I mean it's not raining yet but this day is just not looking right it's it's kind of an ugly day but it won't stop us it won't stop us to smile and it won't stop us from unboxing this product that I'm sure you're going to love which in fact is actually related to the watch I'll tell you in a bit I think this is a perfect example to show you double tap so I've got a box right now so I simply double tap to answer Hola Javi. Hola, hola. ¿Cómo estás? Bien. So I mean, it's it's a real life use case right now where you know I've got literally a box, so I couldn't have answered that phone call unless you know I left the box in the in the floor. Oh, oh, oh. announced the double tap feature for the watch I was like you know that's pretty cool but I'm curious on how it will actually be useful on my daily life like on real life but I end up realizing like it's definitely adapted in my lifestyle more than I thought it would be that's how I describe it I'm just you know double tapping I'll take go back to the same place. yeah I'm so done with you we are running a little bit late to install whatever is in here which I'm very excited to show you. It will basically let you unlock your door with your watch. We're on to that in a bit. I'm actually installing this door key, this smart home key here. Well, that's probably a separate video, right? I mean, I don't want to give too much hype, but things are things are changing. Things are happening. Let's make it happen. Right there, right? Right there. I mean, I don't want to give hype. Ah, exactly. I don't think it's a good idea to show me that. I don't want to give hype. You're ready for this. Apple Watch Series 9. Ready? I'm not doing anything. I'm just pulling out my watch near the door lock. And I've now just opened the door with my Apple Watch. Now this is all possible thanks to this little guy. It's the Level Lock Plus. What I like about it the most is that it doesn't look like a smart lock. But trust me, it is. You see, there's a bunch of ways that you can open the door. With a little tag. With an actual key. With an iPhone. Or my favorite part about it, the Apple Watch. So as I said, you can open it with a physical key within the app, but the coolest thing about it is just simply home key. Apple home key is basically the most useful because you just basically just hold it right next to the door lock and your door lock is open. The app itself is also really useful because let's say you've got guests coming over and you're not home or maybe you want someone to drop a package or whatever the reason might be. Well now if somebody wants to enter our office, they can just log in. Or We've also got this guy. This is the level keypad, which is basically a keypad. You just basically put in your password, you log in, and you're basically in. You only have to replace the battery a couple of times a year. But don't forget, you've also got a physical key that you can just go inside. Don't forget, it's a really smart door lock, but it's also a normal door lock if you wanted to. So yeah, if you're interested in the Level Log Plus, links are down below in the description. Level, thank you so much for sponsoring this video. But thank you for giving me this guy because I'm absolutely so happy that this guy is officially in our office. And yeah, I said our office, but I don't want to tell you about the office yet. Things are happening and yeah, things, things are starting to get very exciting. In terms of the smart stack, being able to just double tap and 
having all my calendars and my music since we're playing music in the studio it already knows that so i can simply play it directly from there i didn't really use the smart stack before double tap but now just being able to literally double tap and being there i end up using it more um, i usually use it especially for the calendar so i always know you know what's up next what meeting i have next so it's pretty nice The sun has finally come out. It's starting to get to be a little bit hot. I think now is a perfect time for me to show you the brightness because the Apple Watch Series 9 has 2,000 nits of brightness. A way that I use my Apple Watch quite a lot is on the Reminders app on the watch because it allows me to put all of my grocery store list right on my wrist. So, you know, wherever I'm in the grocery store, I can just look and see what I need. Avocados, soy milk, etc. Another reason that I love the Apple Watch is I actually have all of my rewards cards inside of the wallet app. So, you know, if I go in this grocery store, for example, I've actually got you know, the rewards card for the grocery store. So they're like, do you have a rewards card? And I'm like, the uh, this uh, 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 I think I know what it is, but I don't know what it is. That's cool. So Case Defy has just launched their little pouch for the Nothing Ear Buds, and they actually just sent me the Nothing Ear 2 as well. Well, thank you, Case Defy. This is this is amazing. This thing is so cool, and it doesn't even only work for this. I mean, I've got pair of airpods here and it's it's a little airpods or nothing ear case i mean it's kind of adorable if you ask me am i the only one by the way who is one obsessed with garlic and two obsessed with literally frying everything in the air fryer i mean Garlic is usually, you know, super strong, but putting it on the air fryer, it makes it have just such a soft and beautiful and tasty taste. I don't know, I'm just obsessed. Here's up, and here's a, here's actually a good example. Look, so right now I've got like pretty greasy hands right now. Tap and the timer will actually. <laughs> A lot on my watch is high coffee it basically lets you track your caffeine intake like all your coffees in, in your watch you know what I mean like I'm not someone who drinks too much coffee because I don't like drinking too much so I'm always careful on like what time I drink it because if not I just can't sleep. super exciting call right now as you can see Rich Demiro from KTLA I'm briefing him right now um, on Colonel so we might be seeing Colonel on the news baby I'm, I, I'm excited <laughs> What's up? Rich Demiro here, Rich on Tech. Take a look at Colonel. It's how, awesome. How was how the meeting? Good? The meeting was awesome. <laughs> I am very impressed with the app. You did a great job. <laughs> I, I wish you could code my app. <laughs> Alright, currently walking the dogs. Let me give you a quick update on the battery life. It's currently almost 6 p.m. Um, and I've got a 50% battery life. So. 
All right, we're heading to the gym. Before we go, I wanted to show you the new feature on the Series 9, which is precision finding. So look, you basically tap the find my iPhone icon, but now on the Series 9, as you can see, it will actually guide you to the iPhone just like an AirTag. You can see it's telling me I have to go this way. And then once I actually get close, it actually sounds again. It gets green and it starts vibrating till I can actually find it, which is always literally hiding right here. Okay, we made it to the gym, brought obviously my AirPods, and it's honestly one of those features that make the Apple Watch is simply so useful. You know, being able to leave your iPhone at the locker and just simply bringing your AirPods and your Apple Watch and having a bunch of playlists already downloaded on the watch, it's, a, it's such a useful experience. You know, you can have all you want in the world, but something that I'm sure you don't have is an Apple Fitness Plus water bottle. Let's say I'm working out, as I am right now, and I want to change the song. What would I do? I can just simply double tap, and I just change the song. It's as easy as that. Something that I wish the workout app would have, you know, changing a song inside of the workout app, you can double tap to skip. But inside of the workout app itself, if you double tap, it doesn't do anything at all. So it'd be cool if you could double tap and pause the workout, for example. I might need therapy. I'll be flat in a young parakeet, apparently. These don't know I just I closed Last my race. Last show, she paid at the door, and I slid in no ID. You ain't cold like me. Just, just but I wanted to update you on the battery life on the watch. It's currently 8.30 p.m. And the battery life is at 31%. So, you know, previous weeks I was actually complaining quite a lot about the battery life on the Series 9, but it's 8.30 and we just, you know, it was a pretty busy day, including a lot of fitness tracking now at the gym. So I'm kind of happy that Apple solved it, I guess, with a software update. So it's, it's holding up pretty well. So I'll keep you updated, but I think it should last us till the end of the day. No sleep tracking. So I think I can charge it just a tiny bit before going to bed, but hey, not bad. Can you meet some dinner um, after the gym. We're so freaking hungry. We're currently watching some, some YouTube videos. Issa Page, we, we absolutely love her, her vlogs. And I wanted to show you. So with actually double tap, right now I have no idea where the remote is. So I can just simply double tap and I can pause the YouTube video or I can double pause again to play it again. Isn't that like, Jenny, isn't that cool? It is, I mean just, Stop it! Spread your joy to the ones who lost their hope.